Color is about the beauty of painting in the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. What this exhibition celebrates is the splendor of color in illuminated manuscripts, books, copied and painted by hand, which were coveted by kings and princes, by merchants and lawyers, by mothers who taught their daughters to read for over a millennium before the advent of print. The majority of paintings to reach us from the Middle Ages and the Renaissance survive in illuminated manuscripts. Hundreds of images could be preserved within the covers of a single book. And not only that manuscripts preserve the largest number of paintings, they also preserve them in the best possible condition. Frescoes have been plastered and whitewashed, stained glass has been smashed, panel paintings have been varnished, restored repeatedly. Illuminated manuscripts preserve the colors of their paintings pretty much in the condition in which they were when originally created. And they're the best example of the rich palette of medieval and Renaissance artists gold and silver, vibrant colors extracted from exotic plants and precious stones, all created by uh, very complex uh, manufacturing processes. Work's been going on for several years on this exhibition from a conservation point of view as well as from a cataloguing point of view. So we started with a survey to see um, what, what work needed doing, um, just to see the condition of the objects and after that we then went through and carried out work um, on bindings to make sure that the books can function and for our cuttings we um, looked at the mounting system so a lot of cuttings have been remounted um, in uh, better, better ways than they have been in the past particularly for this exhibition and also looking at the consolidation of pigments we've got manuscripts which are sometimes five, six hundred years old. The pigments are quite fragile, um, so we want to make sure they're in the best condition for when they go on display. I think this exhibition is a wonderful opportunity for people to really get to know about illuminations and um, manuscript techniques. Close up, um, you'll be able to get within a few inches of some of the world's best illuminations, the most beautiful examples, and it's, it's very exciting to be that close in such fine, delicate works of art. Um, it's, it's just a wonderful opportunity to absorb things um, and just immerse yourself entirely in, in this miniature world and understand how it was done, the skill that's gone into it, um, and the beautiful, beautiful works of art that have come down to us. It's very exciting. For the past four years, I've been in charge of undertaking all the scientific analysis on the manuscripts which are on display with a team of research assistants. Um, we've been using cutting edge analytical methods to look uh, more closely at the manuscripts um, and look at the pigments that were used to paint them. So figure out which uh, materials the artists use to paint all the different brilliant colors that we see and all the gold leaf and the silver which still shine on these pages. So a lot of this technical information is included in the catalogue for the exhibition and visitors will also be able to access it on a new online resource which we're launching together with the exhibition called Illuminated. And the resource will allow people to look at multiple pages from each manuscript, which is not something you can do in the galleries when you look at a manuscript. And they will be able to zoom in very close on details and reveal the sketches hidden underneath the paint layers and also discover what type of analytical methods we used for the analysis. Manuscript exhibitions are always interesting and quite special because manuscripts are not usually displayed in museums due to conservation concerns. And this one is extra special, I think, and really interesting, both for people interested in arts and in sciences, because we've integrated so much of the technical analysis into our display and the catalogue and our, our online presence. And personally, I'm really excited to finally see four years worth of research um, being showcased in such a brilliant way. 
The Fitzwilliam Museum preserves the largest and finest collection of illuminated manuscripts to be found in any museum in the world. And this exhibition is a unique opportunity for visitors to explore the beauty of the manuscripts and also to discover the innovative research inspired by our collections. Art and science are integrated in an unprecedented way. Color runs from the 30th of July until the 30th of December this year and we hope to see you soon and many times.